If you have internet access, chances are you take it for granted. However, the reality is that millions of students lack reliable, high-speed internet service in their homes. Many families rely on mobile phones and capped data plans to keep internet costs low. For some, this data easily runs out. Schools and libraries are frequently viewed as universal access points, but they are not accessible 24-7. According to research conducted by the Pew Research Center, only 20% of advanced placement and national writing project teachers say all their students have access to the digital tools they need at home. Teachers in low-income communities are even less likely to say their students have sufficient access. Previously, digital equity initiatives focused on increasing access to computers and the internet. Experts now realize that access to hardware and connectivity does not necessarily lead to deep engagement or learning with technology. To create a level playing field, students must be able to join clubs, classes, and groups that serve as communities of practice for learning advanced technology skills. Here, they gain access to advanced software tools, specialized instruction, and hands-on mentoring from peer and adult experts. As their understanding expands, students can create digital artifacts, like art and video games, and often pick up valuable skills with web development and programming languages along the way. Although seldom discussed, the effects of digital inequity also extend into the college access space. This is a critical issue to address now that key aspects of the college and financial aid application processes are entirely online. Over the past four years, researchers at the Polias Center for Higher Education at the University of Southern California, in conjunction with the nonprofit Get Schooled, have designed and implemented a federally funded project, the Mission and Mission Challenge, to expand college access to low-income, college-ready students through digital resources. Our research documented key impediments to ensuring students are able to access college guidance and support through digital tools. Inadequate access to computers inside schools due to a shortage of computers, poorly maintained machines, outdated software, or computers earmarked for other purposes. A lack of teachers and staff who are willing and trained to incorporate digital tools into their everyday activities. And finally, limited access to computers and robust, reliable internet for student use outside of school hours. Our research has revealed many ways that teachers, counselors, and administrators use technology to engage students in the college access space, such as assisting students in identifying high-quality digital tools that address different phases of the college preparation and application processes, publicizing and incentivizing use of digital tools, checking in with students about tech tool use, discussing lessons learned, and providing opportunities to reinforce learning incorporating digital tools into school-wide culture, and recognizing that students from varying backgrounds bring diverse experiences, skills, and digital identities to their schooling. With heightened sensitivity to students' needs, knowledge about digital tools, and the commitment to incorporate digital tools into classroom activities, practitioners are in strategic positions to support students in innovative and meaningful ways. Engage with us.